Alright then everyone, hello and welcome back to another episode of the Blind... the... Uh, whatever. The Final Fantasy VI Blindfolded LLG, uh, where it's actually... I actually have a reason to do my intro this time, since I'm actually at the beginning of the segment and not just halfway through an episode and repeating myself over and over again. So yeah, Chatternook time. All the way to the right. All the way to the top. One, two, three, four. Now just walk up and mash the A button. At least I assume this is the A button on my controller. Yep, it is. Xbox controller, I think, is laid out the same way as the uh, SNES controller in terms of X, Y, A, and B. This is weird because there's no uh, battle intro here, so the music just kind of starts and it's just like weird feeling. It's disconcerting a little bit. Now the text lines it up all my turns very nicely here. Now let's just wait till she does something once and then I can go. Alright. I don't know who that was, but I know this is Celeste. What? Did he not do anything? I thought he would do something there, but apparently not. I guess I must have uh, selected the Rage before. And that was dumb, because I think I just potioned Celeste. Instead of Sabin like I intended to. Whatever. Now let's have Sabin's turn come up again. Alright, just wait in the item menu for now. Now skip turns until I get to Sabin. That's nice. One of those out of the way. Now I'm sure Gogo gets another shot at this if I play this if I play my cards right here. I'm not sure if I need to get lucky as well, but all right, have seven bum rush. Now uh, go out of the menu for just a moment. Now I wait a few seconds for it to transition back to the uh, goddess form of Chatternook. That should be long enough, I hope. Now just wait a moment. Hopefully that's Chatternook transitioning back. Otherwise I just look like an idiot. <laughs> Alright, now let's see if Gogo can get in a step mine on the right form. Well, he sure step mined something. A block was heard, but that could be blocking charm or a bolt spell, so can't feel too good about myself yet. Oh, it's the goddess format right at this moment. Um, so both of you should potion the character down from you. I don't know which one's which right now because I did all that turn swapping earlier and that just sends me out of whack. Oh yeah, and that was kind of pointless. Well, I guess I don't really know anything, do I? And I still don't know who threw that potion. I'll have both characters throw a phoenix down, one down from themselves to try and revive Seven. Seven isn't necessarily, but he makes the battle go a little bit faster. Well, someone managed to throw the phoenix down. Well, I think that must have been the right thing because... Okay, now I'm just confused. Whatever. Seven's alive, so I don't care. Hopefully that hit the right form. As you can tell, I'm completely uh, lost by this battle, so... Well, that person's asleep now. That's, uh, good enough for me, I suppose. I win! No. <laughs> I forgot Phantasm makes that noise, too.
I suspect I did not hit the right form of Shatternuck there. Nope. Thanks to the text box, I, I know that if that noise happens so quickly, I definitely didn't do it correctly. <laughs> Not sure what's going on right now. As is ever the case in this battle. I mean, Gogo should theoretically be able to carry the day on it by himself without even the intervention of the rest of the team, but. It might take a while, though, I don't know. I think that probably hit the right form. Good. So that's two step mines for sure. I don't know how many uh, Phantom Rushes I've. Yes, that's an actual death. <laughs> well, uh, other than that false alarm earlier, I suppose everything went right as rain. That is weird to play blindfolded, but certainly not difficult, thanks to the fact that I'm pretty geared up at this point for smashing things. He really had no chance. It was fun to try and uh, maneuver that fight so that got it done a little bit faster, but at the end of the day, it's not necessary at all. There's no way they can kill me save for something piercing Gogo's go uh, magic evasion there, and you, he'd need some power on it too because Chatternook's not that strong. If he flashed, well, he did flash rain seven, so it only did like 155. And those bolt spells were only, bolt two spells were only healing for like 300, I think. So, a multi-target bolt spell on Gogo would definitely not kill him because he's got shell and much higher magic defense than Savin. So he'd be cutting out over half that damage. And single target might kill him. Multi-target would definitely not, even if it connected. And Flash Raiden would have no chance of killing Gogo at all. Unless I got unlucky a few times, in which case, whatever. Left for a bit. I mean, right for a bit. Come on, me. I can remember the route through the dungeon, but I can't remember my lefts and rights, apparently. Down to the bottom. Left and down some more, down to the bottom again, and this should be out. Out of here. Alright. Well, that was the end of that segment. Easy but fun sort of thing. And now we have our final level 6 character before I uh, turn it off, I suppose. Hello, Realm. Not just yet, we need to collect the other uh, six characters here. But a lot of them should be easy. One will certainly not be, though, and I think you can probably guess who that is. See you next time. <laughs>